This video is going to show you how to pair and set up your devices. There's going to be three examples. The first example is for a setup without a remote or smart detector. The second is for a setup with a remote but no smart detector. And the third is for a setup with both a remote and a smart detector. This video explains the setup of a system without any remote or smart detector. You'll have smoke detectors, a heat detector and possibly a carbon monoxide detector. Before you begin setup, it's important to make sure that all the devices are turned on. On the smoke detector, on the back of the device, you'll see a tab which should be turned from the factory position to the on position. On the heat detector, you'll see a sliding button which should be moved from the off position to the on position. And on the carbon monoxide detector, you'll see a small circle button which should be pressed in far enough for the LCD display to remain illuminated. Give the devices 10 to 15 seconds to fully turn on. For this video, we're going to look at flashes and ignore beeps, just to make it easier. Sometimes we test devices before we send them out. To make sure that all the devices are fully clear of any codes, press and hold the main button for four flashes. Important to it's important to release the button on the fourth flash, otherwise it may not clear properly. Do this for all additional devices. The long pause means that the device is clear. We're now ready to pair all the devices. You should choose a master device. Where there's no remote or smart device, you can choose one of the smoke detectors. Simply press and hold the button for three flashes. The light will then flash rapidly. This means that it's in setup mode and is ready to add the other devices. On all the other devices, press and hold for two flashes. This device has now been added. Make sure that the light is flashing rapidly on the original device. This device has now been added. You do not have to add the carbon monoxide detector, but you can if you wish. This device is now added. Make sure that the light continues to flash rapidly while setting up. Press the button once when completed. This will close the circuit and means that all the devices have now been paired. Give it five to 10 seconds and then press the test button to make sure that all the devices are linked. This video applies to a system with a remote, but with no smart detector. You'll first need to make sure that all the devices turned on. On the smoke alarm, locate the small plastic tab and turn it from the factory to the on position. On the heat detector, locate the small plastic sliding button and move it from the off position to the on position. On the carbon monoxide detector, locate the small circle button and press it in far enough for the display to illuminate. On the remote, remove the small plastic tab from the battery. Once the devices are turned on, we'll need to clear them to make sure that the devices are linked as easy as possible. This is because we sometimes test devices before they're sent out. Press and hold the main test button for four flashes on all the devices. means that the device is clear. Do this for all the additional devices.
including the remorse. It's important to wait until it flashes the fourth time, otherwise it may, may not clear properly. Press and hold for four flashes. It'll flash two or three times to let you know it's being cleared. Now we're going to begin the pairing process. You need to choose a master device and where there's a remote, it's usually the remote. We're going to press and hold the test button for three flashes. The light will then flash rapidly. This means that it's in setup mode. The light will continue to flash while we pair the other devices. On all the additional devices, press and hold for two flashes. This will pair the device to the setup to the master device. Release on the second flash. This device is now added. The light continues to flash rapidly. If it goes out, simply press and hold the remote for three flashes and then add the other devices. You don't have to add the carbon monoxide detector, but you can if you wish. Go back to your master device, press the test button once. This will close the circuit. Give it five or 10 seconds for things to synchronize and then we'll press the test button once to test all the devices. If during testing one of the devices doesn't sound, put that device to one side, press and hold it for four flashes to clear it, go back to your master device, press and hold the test button for three flashes to put it in setup mode, go back to the device, press and hold for two flashes back to the master, press it once, and that will then link the device which wasn't already paired. Once all the devices have been added, press the test button on your remote control. They should all flash and sound together. This video explains the setup of a system with a remote control and smart device. If you don't have the remote control, we can still use it using the smart device as the master. Before we begin, we'll meet, need to make sure that all the devices are turned on. On the regular RF smoke detectors, locate the small plastic tab and turn it from the off or factory position to the on position. On the heat detector, move the small plastic switch from the off position to the on position. On the carbon monoxide detector, locate the small circle button and push it in far enough for the LCD display to remain lit. On the remote, remove the small cardboard tab from the battery. The smart detector comes in two sections. The detector itself with a sealed lithium battery. Again, you'll need to move the tab from the off position to the on position, as shown. Remove the plastic or cardboard tabs from the batteries in the smart section. You'll then need to add the detector to the smart housing. Before we begin pairing, we'll need to make sure that all the devices are clear. This is because sometimes testing takes place to make sure the devices work before they're sent out. To do this, find the main test button on the regular RF devices. Press and hold for four flashes. The long beep means that the device is clear. Do this for all the additional devices. Release on the fourth flash to make sure that the device is clear. The 
reason we use flashes rather than beeps is because the remote and the smart detector don't beep, other than the main detector which will beep in the event of a fire. Again, press and hold the test button for four flashes. It'll, beep if, it'll flash a few times and then stop. On the smart detector, press and hold the small LED on the smart housing for four flashes. All the devices are now clear. We'll need to choose a master. This is the one that will pair everything to. It's either the remote or the smart device. We'll use the remote. Press and hold the test button for three flashes. The light will then flash rapidly, which means it's in setup mode. We can then add the devices one by one. Press and hold for three flashes. The light flashes rapidly. This is fine. On the next device, press and hold for two flashes. This device is now paired. This device is now paired to the remote. The light will continue to flash. Keep checking in to make sure that it's flashing. If it's stopped, stop what you're doing, press and hold the test button for three flashes and then continue. You don't have to pair the carbon monoxide detector, but you can if you wish. The light continues to flash. With the smart detector, it's exactly the same. Press and hold for two flashes. This time the remote stopped. We'll need to repair the smart detector. Because it's flashing slowly, we'll press it once and we'll try again. Press and hold the remote for three flashes. It flashes rapidly. Go back to the smart detector and press and hold for two flashes. It'll flash a few times and then stop. The remote's still flashing. We'll quickly press the test button button to close the setup. When we test the devices, we want to make sure that there's flashes and sounds. Any devices that aren't flashing or sounding may not be paired correctly. We'll put them to one side. Press the test button once quickly to test the setup. devices are linked. The smart device will beep for a little while longer. So those are the tips and tricks to make sure that your setup is as easy as possible. Make sure that the devices are properly turned on, make sure that they're all cleared from any previous setup and go through the setup as you've been told in the video looking for flashes rather than beeps. If you need any extra help or support there is a helpline it's 03301 226 Double three seven. But again, just refer to the video and make sure that it's been done properly. The only extra thing to tell you is when setting up the Wi-Fi or smart detector. For this, you'll need to be able to access the 2.4 gigahertz section of your router. Most suppliers offer this as well as the five gigahertz. Most times you can go into your router and rename the very sections of your Wi-Fi as five gigahertz or 2.4. When you've downloaded the Toya or Smart Life app, you'll be asked to do this. You connect your phone to the 2.4 section of your Wi-Fi. It'll scan for the device and you'll need to put the device into the smart mode. To do this, you press and hold the small smart button for five flashes. It'll scan for the devices. It'll then pair and link this to your Toyota or Smart Life app.
Again, this will all be set out in the instructions that are given to you, but just as an added tip, make sure that you can access the 2.4 section. If you can't, speak to your service provider who will be able to help you. We hope this helps.